I want to speak on this Adi Boom ARP situation. Let's get into it. Torture talk. All right, so today I want to talk about this Adi Boom and ARP situation. You know, ARP is uh, the owner of uh, RBE Entertainment. It's a battle league based out of New York, and Adi Boom is a battle rapper from South Jersey. Uh, and there's a lot going on around surrounding these two, so I want to speak on it. All right, so one. Uh, I seen a blog by uh, ARP, and he basically addressed a couple of things. And one of the things he addressed was that he will be no longer doing business with Adi Boom. Now I'm not gonna go into what he said and how he said it and and all the details. I'm just gonna give my take on it. If you want to see the blog, you can go and see it yourself, and then you make a judgment. And I want to speak on that, and I want to speak on. Um, from both sides. So first, uh, ARP's blog was very informative. But see, here's my problem that I have with with Battle League owners. First of all, ARP and Body Boom were were close. It had to be because ARP was going to see him while he was in prison. And while he was in the halfway house, ARP held him down. So, he had to be kind of close. And he also was saying that Adi Boone was going around saying he was supposed to battle two big names. But who knows, you know, who knows if that was, uh, if Adi Boone said that or not. Maybe Adi Boone admitted it, maybe he didn't. Who knows? Maybe he was booked for him, maybe he wasn't. We would really never know. If y'all had a falling out and you're not going to book him anymore, you should just, if y'all were friends, you should not say anything. Because then it becomes personal when you start to talk about why you're not going to book somebody. Y'all severed tides. It was a personal thing. And I'm thinking it was because of the whole snitching thing. Now. Granted, you was blindsided by Big K's verse. So, if you were blindsided by his verse, then, of course, you're going to side with that. Now, me personally, I'm going to say something, and I don't care what none of y'all say. This is business. It's never personal. So, if you are a snitch, if you are a murderer... If you do whatever you want on your personal time that has nothing to do with the league, this is business. I don't understand why people don't get that. I don't understand it. See, what cracks me up about battle rap is you guys snitching and exposing is two different things to you when it's the same exact thing. But for some reason in battle rap, it's two different things. So you can have somebody who do a whole round exposing somebody. And y'all cool with it. Because it's not, it's not, they, they not calling it snitching. But then you can have a round where somebody say you was, you was snitching. Then nobody wants to fuck with you. Not counting the fact that everybody in battle rap, for the most Maybe 99% of battle rappers are fake. And they all lie. Maybe 90% of them all lie. Every one of their rounds, they're killing somebody. They're lying. But yet and still, when it's something that's outside of battle rap, when it's non-fiction outside of battle rap, all of a sudden, it matters. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's crazy to me. Now, as far as ARP not booking Adi Boom no more, and Adi Boom, well, we'll get to Adi Boom. 
But it's him not booking Adi Boone no more. I mean, it's his league. I can't be mad at him because of that. If that's what he choose to do, this is business, like I said. So if he feels as though that it's going to hurt his brand, then okay. I understand. But to be fair, and I don't know if he really did this or not. I'm just saying, from looking from the outside and I'm speaking from me. I'm not going to let none of these fake battle rap fans dictate what I'm going to do with my league. And I know ARP don't do that. So it could have been another reason that we don't know. But me personally, I'm not letting none of these people dictate anything that we do over here. Never. Because them people ain't going to hold you down. They are temporary fans. Battle rap fans are temporary fans. They're temporary around and you do something they don't like, all of a sudden you're the worst. First you're the best, then you're the worst, then you're the best, then you're the worst. They're so fickle. You can't believe in nothing they're saying. Because they take everything literally. Even if it's fake and they know it's fake, they still take it literally. So no. I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't have stopped booking Adi Boom. No. I would have booked Adi Boom three or four more times. Now, let's get into Adi Boom. See, my thing, my thing with people is, no matter how much of a good person you are, no matter how much you dap somebody, no matter how much you shake their hand, no matter how much you help people, no matter how much you do, if you do something that the consensus say that, that they don't like, everybody turns on you. Everybody. They all turn on you. Because they're so scared to stand up for what they think is right. Listen, let me tell you something. If Adi Boom did, did whatever he did, I don't blame that man. You don't know his situation. You don't know why he was in the situation he was in. So if he did do it, I don't blame him. And I'm not going to stop being cool with him because of somebody I don't know. I don't know what happened. And none of y'all do either. But y'all, are we waiting for the discovery? Are we waiting for the... Like y'all lawyers and, and fucking judges. You niggas are bums. Y'all fucking bums. And y'all got the nerve to be out here asking people for paperwork. When you don't even have a fucking job or a car. You don't even go to school. You a fucking dropout. And you asking me to give you paperwork? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck no. I'm not giving you a motherfucking thing. That's how I feel. If I was Adi Boom, I wouldn't show you niggas shit. I wouldn't give y'all nothing. I wouldn't have did no interviews. I would have just did battles. That's it. Because this is business. It's not personal. My personal life has nothing to do with it. So I don't care if you, if you if I was exposed by Big K. Who gives a fuck? It's personal for some of you niggas. That don't even, that's not even a part of it. How is it personal for you? You don't know that man. You don't know that other man either. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So niggas could say, oh, well, well, uh, 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 why are you, why are you protecting snitching or what? It's not even about that. It's about you niggas fall in line whatever time is to fall in line for whatever. Whatever time it is to fall in line, y'all fall in line for it. Y'all do. Because it is what it is. Like I said, I wouldn't have stopped booking Adi Boom. I wouldn't have. I would have booked him and I would have kept booking him. And if nobody didn't want to battle him, okay. Then we would have found somebody to want to battle him. You know how it goes. But it, it, let's, not, let's not pretend here. You know what I'm saying? Let's not pretend now. He said, Adi Boom said, he ain't lose no sleep. Bitch, he ain't lose no sleep. I didn't, think, I didn't take that as Adi Boom calling ARP a bitch. I don't think that Adi Boom is I'm, I don't think that Adi Boom would disrespect ARP like that I don't think he called him a bitch now if he said ARP is a bitch that's something different but I don't think he called I don't think he was saying it like that and you niggas take everything out of context everything it could be the smallest thing he could say oh man man I'm cutting my nails oh see uh, he said he was gonna cut ARP nails that's crazy he was gonna hit him with a nail Y'all take everything literally because y'all looking for fucking sound bites like y'all are part of the fucking mainstream media or some shit. Shit is crazy to me. 
So like I said, Adi Moon will be battling on Sigu Battle League. He will be battling Ines. I will post a flyer. I'm not getting into nobody's personal life. We ain't doing that over here. This is business over here. So if you niggas don't want to show up or y'all want to go in the comments and say, Oh, why are you booking him up? Y'all never showed up to a SIGU event anyway. And y'all never will probably come. So I don't care. Whatever. Don't come. Don't show up. Who cares? All I know is he's going to get booked here. Whether y'all like it or not. You want to see him battle? Come see him battle. If you don't want to see him battle, don't watch the fucking battle. It's simple as that. I don't understand these people. Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Tell your family about me. I mean, come on. Y'all gotta stop this. Y'all acting as if like, like, I don't, I can't even, I can't even explain how you battle rappers act. How you fans act. Like, okay, yeah, y'all can have a difference of opinion. But just don't click on the shit. That's it. Now, the thing between ARP and Adi Boom, we don't know what happened between them two. It could have been a misunderstanding. It could have been Adi Boom could have said, listen, I'm not battling over there no more. Or ARP could have been like, listen, um, I, what happened, I can't, we don't want our, our, our brand to be damaged because fans like to, they like to uh, uh, glorify fucking criminology. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to do that. I'm never letting you fans dictate what we do over here. Ever. We're going to do what we want to do over here. We want to fucking book 6 9 We will book 6 9 Period. That's how it's going to go. And I don't think Adi Boone's a snitch. Torture talk.